Welcome back to the channel, you big bass lovers. It's DeMont coming back at you again. Sorry I've been out for a little while. We had a series of unfortunate events at the family here. Um, both of my sick dog, my older sick dogs that I was taking care of, and they both passed over the weekend. Um, so, yeah. It was kind of sad here. It was, it was very sad. Um... But anyway, um, I appreciate you guys for reaching out and find, trying to find out what's going on. Um, it means a lot. It means a lot, guys. It means a lot. Um, I'm going to do, have, have, I kind of bit the bullet. Well, I got, guess what I got these last, week for last. I just got them, well, I just started opening them up this past weekend. Um, I did my first Omni fishing order just because. They're the only place to head. I had one pack of these, and I love these things. It's the rollerball jig head. Um, this little rollerball <laughs> is legit. Um, I want to do a comparison. Um, the core tackle hover rig versus this little omni ball. This omni ball does more of. Um, more of the rock back and forth motion versus the core tackle does more of a, it's, it doesn't do quite like the, a traditional hover rig does, but it still catches fish. Don't get me wrong, it still catches fish, but this little roller ball right here, when you're trying to do more of the hover strolling, does a better job. Uh, this is the, uh, the new Z-Man's, uh, the scented jerk shads in like the 3.5. I got these from Omni Fishing as well. Um, but I've had these before. Um, it seems like everybody's trying to make a run on stuff. Um, trying to see. Omni Fishing also had um, 3 16 VMC. The hybrid swim bait head, that's one of my favorite heads. And it seemed like for some reason they had a run on them and you couldn't find them nowhere. And they got them in stock. When they got these in stock, I, put, I had to put my name on the list. So I went and got me, um, yeah, five packs. So I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't want to be SOL again. Um, but that right there, this for like Kitex and stuff for some, um, and also for like your, the mayor, a um, few other little swim baits like the, um, the cast swim bait. Um, trying to think in my top of my head real fast. Um, the um, swammer. This is a really good jig head for those style baits when you have that screw lock it your bait don't slide down and get, it lasts you a lot more fish but this is how the roller ball comes in kind of what it has a little clear there it is a clear outer pack over top of this and you get um one two three four yeah five roller ball heads in one um those came from land big fish they didn't come from here um <clears throat> but See, it holds on. This is your Z-Man scented plastic. It has a little... Let me see if make sure you can see it really good. It has a little wire keeper to make sure it don't slide down. Um, I really like this. Um, I mean, there, there's, a lots, there's lots of good baits. I mean, there's lots of really good baits you can use this with. Um... Trying to think, my mind's a little cloudy. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I think that's about the only thing I got from Core Tackle is this the scented jerk shads. Um, there seemed to be something else. Oh, it's coming today. That's what it is. It's coming today. But I got also the, um, some Jack Jackal Rhythm Wags. Um, they're coming today. I got. They didn't have any of the, I like the, the three inch version, 
or the two and a half inch version. I think it's two and a half, three inch, whatever it is. But they had the four and a half inch version, which I like those as well. That's basically like a fluke, except it has more, where this is like a, this is this is kind of a standard fluke here, kind of length. The rhythm wag has, a, kind of comes all the way down to here. It makes it where these little tails just go crazy when you're, when you've, when you're actually working your fluke or when you're doing like a hover straw with it, or if you're doing just a jig minnow. Some people call it, some people call it a jig and minnow now, but um, I've always called it Demiki rig, uh, hover stroll, hover rig, um, mid strolling. And one thing you get with this, you get a really sharp owner hook. So be careful with it. Uh, guys, I appreciate all the subscriptions. Um, we got to do that giveaway. I think I want to do, um, I think I want to do the GH100. I got a brand new GH100 uh, BFS reel. Um, I've had for about a year. I was planning on using it, but I'd like for you guys to see how the, the BFS reel originally started as far as like the CDM. Um, meaning, of course, there was some other reels that was already doing it. But as far as what got CDM on the market, on the map was when they basically knocked off the FTB and they did a really good job of it. Um, so let me go what you think. Um, I was thinking about giving that reel away. I also have, uh, um, I have several reels I plan on giving away. But I was trying to think about what I want to do first. I also have, uh, um, my mind's just not there. I'm sorry. Um, I think it's called the Red Fox. Um, no, it's not a Red Fox. Hell, I should go over and get it. We got a cold front, and I'm it's, actually I'm just not feeling that good this morning. But <laughs> just want to try to get on here and talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um, we all link these down below where you can get them at. Um, and I was wrong. I thought for some reason I had in my head that Omni Fishing was fifty dollars a year, but it's thirty dollars a year. That, that's doesn't really make it that much better, but they give you 10% back on every order you do. Well, not 10% back, 10% rewards. So it gives you 10% you can spend on something else. So if you spend $100, you get $10 back in rewards. So those rewards you can use to another order. So like stuff that doesn't, like map stuff, this is probably ever going to sell like Shimano, things of that nature, like your you spend five hundred dollars, you get fifty dollars back. You can use it on something else. I'm not saying you guys are gonna spend five hundred dollars or whatever. I'm just throwing numbers out there, uh, and stuff comes pretty fast. Um, and one other thing I like about it, you can use it with your shop app. Um, I don't know if you guys use the shop app, but I use the shop app quite a bit because I get cash back from shop. So I get ten percent cash back from Omni. Um, and like land big, well, land big fish doesn't use shop app. Um, there's several things that do that, um, the hookup tackle uses shop app. Um, Japan fishing tackle uses the shop app. Um, there's a lot, uh, Cooper uses just Japan shop app. I mean, uh, <laughs> uses the shop app. I'm um, sorry. My mind's, um, there's a lot of stuff that uses the shop app. The shop app gives you, I think, um, it's a 1.5 or 2% cash back. So it just gives you a little more cash back. I'm all about getting cash back if I can get it. Um, Cause I get a lot of tackle. I need to, <laughs> I need to get cash back. All right, guys. Um, planning on going out on the boat tomorrow. Um, Hope I have some more footage for you. I got I've already got two other fishing videos I haven't I haven't edited yet. Um just shit happens, I'm sorry. I'll get it done. But I'll go ahead and link these down below for you. Um if you haven't tried that roller ball, don't buy them all up. I need a few more. Especially in a few other sizes. Leave some for me. I need some. Alright, guys. Till next time. It's Demont. Tight lines. Y'all stay safe. I'll catch you in the next video. Welcome back, guys. I decided to go ahead and go over there and get the other stuff I got from Omni just so I could show it all to you at one time because I 
feel like I was being a little bit not showing you everything. Um, I got some swammers I was telling you about. The range rollers. That's all that's in this little box here is the swimmers and swimmers and range rollers. Um, and when you get the uh, mystery tackle, you get a mystery tackle item. This is what I got for the mystery tackle item was um, some Northland Northland mimic swim jigs, which I mean they look pretty good. I think they'll be a pretty good swim swim jig here. Um, all right, that was all that. And then I got this order here. It came in on the same day we were at the vet's office. Hadn't even opened it yet. The first day we were at the, jet, the vet's office. Okay, so there's all that. Um, this is what I was telling you about, the Jackal Rhythm Wag. This is the 4.5 inch. They come in a nice little clamshell. Keeps them nice and straight. Um, be sure and pull one out for you guys real fast. I might have showed these on another video, but I really like them. See, this is that split tail that I was telling you about. The body is pretty soft. Um, um, it has a split. I think it's just a channel. Yes, yeah, it's just a channel. I mean, you can fish this like a fluke, but it doesn't have like a flute split body. Um, I think um, a Matt Stephan was rigging them with the hover rig, rigging them with the fat side up and kind of fishing it more. Well, neither one of these sides is what you would call flat. I've always just fished it like this. Um, that's the one opt. Don't have one that has the bigger hook in it. No, that's one that was out. I wanted to, the one that had the three out hook in it, but um, but I mean, shit. Um, your boy uses this right here in it. Um, what's his name? Um, yeah, he's won so much damn money. Fuck. And see, I, I can't keep my mind straight, guys. I'm sorry. Um, dang. He just made all his baits for Apollo and everything. Jacob Wheeler, there you go. This is a little too small for this. But with this Range Rover, you want to... I'll just get that bait and show you with that one bait. Um... Because it doesn't tear up. But let me show you what real fast with this Range Rover, how you rig this thing. You put this back in the clamshell. The clamshell staples are, as soon as you pull that staple out, it's going to start trying to come apart on you. Close that up. Um, I think I threw it back in there. It is right there. Yep. Yeah, I cut this off one of my um, my BFS rods over there. Um, this is one of my favorite little steps to throw. Let me pull it off of here. See, here's your. <clears throat> here's your range roller. <clears throat> Sorry, just had a spicy piece of beef jerky. You want to try to come in the top. Don't go in the middle. Don't go in the middle of the bait. Come in the top of the bait. You want to kind of come across the very top of it because you want that wagon motion. Can I see where I'm at in the top? And don't pinch. 
Don't pinch when you're using elastic. If you pinch, it's gonna make it ball on your hook instead of sliding down your hook. And it's gonna pull it right up on there. And that's kind of what this ball, this Range Rover is designed for, how why it has the ball up. So you can kind of see, let me pull it back a little bit. You can see where the lead's molded onto the, the shank of the hook with the little, the, the 90, 90 degree part of the lead, of the hook eye. That's to make it have that action. And there you go, nice and straight. And this will come through the water and it'll do this right here. And when you're fishing anything with like the, the elastic jerk shad, the Strike King, um, Zutu, Z2, um, the Yum Sonar Minnow works really good with this technique. Um, of course, your Jack of Rhythm Mag works good with this technique. Your um, Demiki Armor Shad works phenomenal with this. Um, but if you're like me and you don't like going through a whole lot of baits, the Scented Jerk Shad, the Z2, they're money. Um, also, you can use... Um, Dang, my mind keeps going blank on me. It's the Z-Man, um, the little drop shot bait. Um, can't remember the name of the top of my head right now. Um, just for getting my ass if they hand it to me. Next thing I want to talk to you about is I tried these hooks last year. Uh, if you're looking for a really budget-friendly flipping hook, um, they make these. This is like a... This is the two all, this is the Ichikawa uh, TS3. It's designed for drop shot and flipping. I think it means for bubba shot or power shot. Um, it has like the, the coating on it. And these are really inexpensive for what you're getting. I mean, really inexpensive for what you're getting. And they are sharp. Be real careful with them. Got that nice Teflon coat. You can see the nice gray color of it. That's that Teflon coating on them. And that point right there is the business. And it's got like a little metal keeper back here. Nice hook eye. Um, I don't really use these for like super thick baits. Um... I want to show you the one I use for BFS fishing. Um, there it is. I use the two aught and a one aught um, for all my BFS fishing. Let's set these to the side. But here's the one aught right here. Um, I don't have anything sitting right here. But I use this with like the little TRD. I also use it with the baby goat. Um, not the um, TRD bug. TRD bugs or TRD hog. And um, also with the baby goat. That's my three go-to little flipping baits for BFS fishing. There's also... Um, Jackal makes one. It's a, um, it's a little crawl. There's several ones I've showed you on the channel before. I'm having a real hard time remembering names right now of all the stuff. And my mind's just, <laughs> my mind's still not right from this past week. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to get together. Hope I have it back together better for you for the next video. But um, yeah, I have all this stuff linked down below. I thought I should come back to you and at least show you the stuff I was talking to you about on the other video. So it's not like, what's he posting down here that he didn't talk about? Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get off here again. Once again, tight lines. I appreciate you all you guys' support. Let me know what reel you want me to give away. Um, either the GH100 or the... Um, I think it says something Fox. I can't remember. It's a, it's a good little BFS reel. It has a, the FTB. Um, it's brand new as well. I actually did a video back... I think 
a year ago on it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. Till next time, tight lines, you stay safe. See where I fell down and busted my chin? It's not been a good week. <laughs>